Hello beautiful souls, this is Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and Star Trek Tarot and I'm here today with a prediction reading for the next three months so I'm not doing it sign by sign I'm just doing a pick a pile um, so October, November, December of 2024 whenever you come across this um, it's timeless so whenever you come across it it'll be the next three months for you so we're going to have a look and see what's coming up so we're looking at general we're looking at your money your career and we're looking at love and um yeah so yeah i appreciate all the oracles and we're also going to get some tarot messages i just want to say a big thank you for your love and support and if you are going through something right now a difficult time of relationships with loss money issues um, trauma whatever you're going through i can help you with the compassion key and i'm offering half price sessions right now so the link will be down below so i want you to choose using your intuition the pile that resonates for you and it's not about thinking it's just about feeling so it should be quite a quick instant thing so pile one we have this beautiful crystal Pile two, this chakra crystal here. And pile three, this blue and white crystal. So pick your pile and I'll see you at pile one. Hello pile one, you chose this. I think it's a turquoise. It's like a bluey green though. It's a beautiful crystal stone. So let's look at your predictions. So I'm starting off with the Chinese fortune card and we've got the number 10 and we've got one in money so the number 10 is a one so new beginnings around money something to do with your finances is going to change so let's get the message from the book it's a time to be wise in all financial dealings money losses in the past have caused grief and anxiety care should be taken with spending stay away from impulsive or ill-considered temptations as this may lead to bad decisions or choices there's financial increases, property purchases, or anything involving buying and selling go well, and a win is likely or a pay rise. There's a change in luck around money. So that's really positive, by one. So if you've been struggling with money, there's definitely a shift in, in the way, you know, money comes into your life. Your relationship with money is going to heal. I feel there's healing around your relationship with money and this be, could, be, could be because you've been doing that inner work and you've been retraining your mind um, to get out of negative thoughts and feelings yeah get in a car so if some of you are looking to get a car this increased money situation this improved money situation rather uh, will assist you in getting a car maybe you're going to be able to get a loan and you you had credit problems maybe your credit problem it's going to improve or you're going to have the cash to buy a car um if it's not a car it's maybe buying a purchase that you've wanted to buy something a large purchase um, and you're going to have the money to do that and we've got baby boy so for some of you this could be a baby boy coming into your family um it doesn't necessarily have to be you having a baby or it could be you if that resonates for you but in your family, there could be a new addition to your family who is a boy. And it's going to bring a lot of joy and happiness to the family. And yeah, very, very um, positive news. So we've got education. You may need to take a class or, or do research to find a better position. You may find yourself writing a book or teaching others. So yeah, there's some sort of change maybe you're re getting some new education some more training which is going to enable you to get a better job a, a better employment position which is why your money is increasing why there's a change in your money because you've invested in yourself and for others of you you could be writing a book which is really going to do well and you're going to sell a lot of copies and you're going to make money that way or teaching others um in some way about a skill that you have and again, you're going to get paid well for that. So, yeah, don't ignore um, if you're getting prompted, you know, by your intuition. 
to take a training course or something to re-educate yourself as it could lead to a lot better things, you know, a better position in your work or a way to increase your income in some way. And you will be offered a new position or investment opportunity. Think about it and research it carefully before accepting. So again, that's confirming for some of you, there's a new position coming in. So this could be a new job coming out of the blue that you're going to get offered a job or any, uh, in uh, like, a, what do you call it? Uh, a promotion within where you are or there's an investment opportunity coming towards you. Um, and again, this is going to really help increase your money. So there's various ways that your money could increase and improve and your relationship with money is being healed, I feel. Um, maybe you've struggled with money, you've you've had a lot of lack, you've been dealing with, but things are changing here. Yeah, we've got playing it safe. These came out together, so I'm going to, yeah, letting go. So what I've got, they came out together. So what I've got with that is you're letting go of playing it safe. So you've been playing it safe somehow in your life. And this could be around love, you know, because she's on her own there, she's single. And maybe you've been single for a long time and you've been playing it safe, not wanting to put yourself out there, afraid of getting hurt again because you were hurt and you had heartbreak. And you've been playing it safe, keeping yourself stuck or not allowing yourself to meet anybody, not allowing yourself to change your status, afraid of that. And you're going to be letting go of that. I, you know, that's the message I got. Your energy is changing and we've got intention. So you're going to be changing your intention and it is around love with the six energy. And you're letting go of the past. You've been doing healing around that. You know, this could be a past heartbreak, a past relationship breakup. You're going to be letting go of that and you're going to be ready to allow yourself to get out there and let go, letting go of playing it safe. You're, you're going to stop playing it safe. You're going to start taking more of a chance and more of a risk and if you do that you can see in the background there's fireworks there's a beautiful fireworks there's beautiful new beginnings waiting and we had that one energy so there's there's definitely new beginnings in love if you're looking yeah magic make a wish believe in miracles magic surrounds you so yes this is a very magical time for you um, you're breaking old patterns and, and it's going to change your money situation and it's going to change your love life if you're single and you're wanting a relationship. So believe in the miracles, believe in the magic, make a wish, you know, set your intentions out there. We've got intention here. Change your energy. There's going to be a shift in your energy. You're going to be feeling a bit more positive, a bit more um, higher, you know, a bit more um, optimistic. And this is going to help shift these things in your life. Friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socialising. So again, I feel that you're going to be letting go of playing it safe, of being on your own, spending a lot of time alone. You're going to start getting out there. You're, you're going to start wanting to be more social and you're going to attract these more positive people because you're in that you're in that zone. You're in that more positive zone and there's new friendships coming towards you. And they'll be similar in energy and it's going to be uplifting for you. It's, you know, it's a whole new um, era in your life. It's a whole new chapter of your life because your your money's changing, your work's changing. There could be a blessing of a child in the family um, and you're changing the way you are. And this is going to attract magic and friendship into your life here. So I wanted to get some love messages. So if you're already with somebody, this may not resonate. So we've got, truth be told, honestly discuss your feelings. So you want, you're wanting somebody that you can really talk to openly and honestly. Yeah, let's talk about you and me. So there's definitely somebody coming in that you're going to be enjoying these honest, open conversations. You're going to enjoy going out for meals. Um, you're on the same page. And it's somebody that you can talk to very easily, I feel. And I want you to be mine. So somebody wants to claim you here. You know, you're going to start dating somebody and they're going to want to claim you as as, as theirs uh, because you've got similar go goals and beliefs. So how might you meet them? We've got weekend getaway. So 
you could meet them when you're away um out of your familiar territory as it were and you're away somewhere at a weekend a different place you could meet them there or you're going to go on weekend getaway with this person and remain to move it home so you could in you know you could both enjoy that you could just enjoy being at home watching movies being romantic just in your own energy so you, you could be a couple that really enjoy just being on your own not necessarily particularly social with other people but you could meet at a social event so that's the other energy i've got there so you could meet maybe there's a party or a gathering or you're out with friends in a in a bar or some activity and you could meet them there as well and the timing we've got within a year so like i said this is the next three months and don't compare yourself to others so being a good self-worth self-esteem and i feel you're coming into that and we've got summertime as well. So we're in the Northern Hemisphere. We're at the cusp of, you know, summer, winter. So for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, it could be, you know, fairly soon that you're going to meet them. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, again, it's not far away that you're going to meet them. So I'm going to leave these um, Chinese um, cooking messages for the end. So let's get the tarot. What else can you tell Paiwan about the next mo three months, October, November, December? What can you tell them? What can you tell them about the next three months for the highest light, love and truth? Yeah, we've got two of wands. So there's decisions to be made. And I feel that you're going to be following your intuition more. Yeah, we have the tower. So I feel there is a lot of... it. It's, there's quite a lot of change here. I feel there's a lot of unexpected change. I don't feel it's negative. Your life needs to change because you've been stuck or stagnant. So, yeah, the sudden change is coming in. What's coming in for the next three months? We've got King of Swords energy. So, this person, if you're looking for a masculine... Could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is somebody mature. This is somebody that's very intelligent, very much up in their head. Um, they could be a business person. Yeah, we've got Ace of Swords. So there's there's a lot of truth and honesty. We had that at the very first message here. Honestly, discuss your feelings. So they're going to be very upfront and honest with you, which you're going to like, I feel. Yeah, we've got eight of wands. So there's a lot going to be a lot of communication coming into your life. Um, I, I don't feel it's just to do with this romance. I feel it's to do with your work, to do with your money. There's there's a lot of communication. There's a lot more communication coming in. You know, that back for some fours communication. Yeah, and we've got the full energy. So don't be afraid to take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid to take a chance here. And the chariot. So your life is going to start moving forward. Yeah, judgment. So this is destiny. This is your destiny. And things are going to come in um, in the right timing. Um, yeah, we've got the nine of coins. So this is you being very financially stable, um, even abundant. You're attracting in more money, um, as I said. So the change is in that. So let's get your final messages. So we've got commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. So, yeah, I feel it could be both. You know, there could be a new commitment in your workplace or this is you committing to something new. But it does look like there's somebody coming in that wants to commit to you. Um, so very positive. And major life change. The time is right for major life changes. A new life As a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. So, yeah, you can see there's lots of major changes coming in um within the next three months i mean it could take a bit longer than that but changes in your work and your money and in your love life and this could lead to a move in future you could be moving home um and sharing a home with somebody so i'm going to leave it there part one sending you love and blessings if you like that please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you next time hello part two you chose this beautiful chakra pendant crystal so let's look at your predictions for the next three months so that's october november december so we've got courage number 25 so um a seven 
So it's going to you're going to need courage to move forward here. Let's have a look at. Let's see what the message is here. You are a person to be reckoned with and will make others proud. You will be standing up for what's right, for what you want and what you need. And will have the stamina, strength and courage to speak up without the fear that has held you back before. A cleansing of your emotions is occurring and you'll be working on letting go of past hurts and disappointments. The new feel issue is sought after by the right people who could influence your life in dramatic ways. You now have the ability to solve your own problems. So, yeah, I feel maybe you've struggled with asserting yourself and speaking your truth. You've had opinions and you, you've kept them to yourself. Uh, for fear of judgment, for fear of being shamed. And you're going to find that courage. You're going to start speaking up for yourself more and speaking your truth. Um, so that's really going to help you, I feel, move forward. And we've got Divine Soul Spouse. So if you're single right now, you could be meeting somebody that you're going to have this commitment with and it's a divine connection. Okay, so there's somebody coming in that you're destined to meet. And you're going to commit to each other. And we've got pets. So you could be getting a pet. Um, maybe you've, you haven't had a pet before. Or may, I mean we've got a dog here. But I feel it could be a dog or a cat. Um, and this could be to do. Because it came out with that divine soul spouse. It could be the person that you connect with has a pet already. And you're just, it's just gonna, you're just going to become a family with this pet. Or if not, it could be when you get together, you decide to get a pet together, like a fur baby, and have a pet together. So that's really sweet. Yeah, we've got relationships, business partners, office love affairs, communication with co-workers are highlighted now, make choices with extreme care. So yeah, we've got business partners, so office love affairs. This person could work in the same place as you, this could be a colleague, or this is somebody that you know through work somehow and this is a divine person this is a divine partner um so but it's saying make choices with care so you might have to be careful if it's a work place romance you might have to be careful because obviously you know that can cause gossip and it could interfere with your relationship so it could be something that you have to keep on the down low that you've got to keep quiet um because of this okay so that could resonate for somebody and we've got roll the dice time to put yourself out there you're hiding your talents and it's time to take a risk and step into the spotlight now so yeah maybe you've been scared to show your gifts and like we said at the beginning you know you you didn't like to speak up uh, you you were scared to speak your truth and you're overcoming that and you're stepping into more of a fearless energy and you're going to start putting yourself out there more um somehow you're going to get the the courage and i feel this is divine and it could also be linked with this divine person you know partner you're going to meet could encourage you you could have the support there to encourage you to put yourself out there and share your gifts and talents and take a risk so it helps when you have a supportive partner and that could be what motivates you to do that. Um, but it's time to step into the spotlight. So it's a very, it's going to be a very favourable time for you to do that. Yeah, we've got intuition and manifestation. So I feel your intuition is really going to become much stronger. It could already become, it could already be quite strong. Um, and you're going to be using this to help you manifest your desires. And that could include this love connection. This could include, you know, putting yourself out there, uh, showing your gifts and talents. And I feel you're going to come into a much more powerful phase where you are, got, you know, really trusting your intuition and you're manifesting your desires. You're, you've, you've sussed it out. You've worked out what it, how you need to do that for you. Um, so, yeah, very positive time. And we've got family. So, yeah, with this person, this soul, divine soul partner... You could be creating a family. I'm not saying it's going to happen within three months, but some of you could get pregnant with this person fairly soon and you're going to be creating a family 
uh, and we've got four beautiful children there. Uh, I'm not saying you're going to have four children, but, you know, this could be something you feel very strongly, you know, when you love somebody that deeply, you know, our human nature is we want to create, you know, we want to create a child, a family. So this could be something that pulls you, you know, once you get together with this person. And like I say, for some, it could just be a fur baby. You know, you're going to get that pet, pet, that cat or dog. We've got adventure, dare to do things differently, manifest your travel dreams, move to a new location. So I feel with this newfound courage that you're going to get, you're going to be up for adventures. You're going to dare to do things differently. You're manifesting travel dreams. So we, we had that about manifestation. So maybe you've not had the opportunity to travel far or maybe, you know, there's places you want to go. And also it could be you could move to a new location. And I feel that is for those of you that resonate with that soul partner. Um, you're going to move, you know, to a new location together. So this person could already have a home that you're going to move into. Or you're going to get a home together somewhere different away from where you live right now. And rebirth, reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams, create a new reality. So I feel that's what you're doing. Um, your ch life is going to change so much. Um, you know, you're you're going to connect with this love. Um, you know, your powers, your intuition, your manifestation abilities, your courage. You're putting yourself out there. And you're allowing yourself to embrace life. And to live your dreams and create a new reality. And you've got that support and love, which is really going to help you, I feel. So let's look at the love messages. So we've got Beauty and the Beast. I want to be vulnerable with you. So this person um, is very protective. You know, we've got the bear energy. So this person is very protective, very masculine energy. But they want to show you their vulnerable side. And maybe they've got a bit of a tough exterior. Um, to protect themselves and they want to be vulnerable with you you give them space and the same you know they give you space to be vulnerable with this bear energy there's a lot of protection and support you know she's leaning into that energy and this person is strong you know emotionally strong and the truth is out we love each other this is a real thing baby so yeah this is love you know and it, it you could you could feel it quite quickly with this person because, as I say, it, it's divine, it's destiny. And, you know, it could even be, and not that it's ever happened to me, but, you know, that love at first sight um, scenario. And it was worth the wait, you get me. So, yeah, maybe you've been single for some time and you've met people that don't really understand you and you don't understand them, but this is you're on the same page. You know, this person is they get you and you get them because it, it's divine. You know, you've probably known each other in other lifetimes. So when might you meet them? We've got in a few months, focus on yourself instead of others. So really focus on you right now, being that energy of self-love. And, you know, I'm predicting this for the next three months, but it depends when you come across it, obviously. For, for now, when I'm recording it, it's October, November, December 2024. But it's timeless. So whenever you come across it as the next few months, this could happen. So you need to do that work on yourself. Focus on yourself. Love yourself. And this could be somebody who likes to give gifts. Okay, they, they express their love languages in gift giving. They like to spoil you and pamper you. And you could buy a house with this person. I think I said that about relocation. Yeah. So you could buy a house together with this person. Um, or like I said, you could move in. They may already own a home and you could move in with them. And the timing is New Year. So in the Northern Hemisphere, um, you know, well, anywhere in the world, actually, it's not far away now, is it? And December. So it's like coming up to that season, you know, the, the winter season, the Christmas season, the New Year. So maybe you're going to meet at some sort of Christmas gathering or New Year's party or something like that. So let's look at your tarot. So what do they need to know for the next few months? Pile two, what do they need to know? 
Yeah, we've got King of Wands energy. So it could be a fire sign that's coming into your life. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Alchemist. So this is somebody that's really good at manifesting. Um, they're really good at making things happen. You know, they're a go-getter. Um, they're mature and they're solid. You know, they're very passionate as well. Yeah, we've got the two of cups, so it's confirming it for me. Union, this is a divine union. This is your person coming in. If you've been waiting for this person, you know, you need to just focus on yourself. Do that work on yourself right now. What's happening for pile two? Yeah, it's in divine timing. Three stars, visions. So you could have been having visions about each other. You could have been dreaming about each other before you actually meet. And Ace of Coins, Abundance. So new beginning, brand new beginning. And I feel in your your financial life, like there's prosperity coming in. And this is solid. You know, this is going to be grounded. This is going to be rooted, this connection. Yeah, Three of Coins, Dedication. This person is going to be very dedicated to you. And they're going to want to collaborate and build a relationship with you. Yeah, we've got the Wheel of Fortune breakthrough. So the number one energy. So there's going to be a breakthrough in your life here. And, you know, we've got the temperance. So you're coming into a place, a time of acceptance of yourself, that self-love and peace and harmony within yourself. What else for part two? Party. yeah we've got six of coins receiving so this is that balanced energy so i feel that maybe you've struggled to receive you could be an over giver and you're going to learn that you're going to learn that balance of give and take because this person is really good at that and he's really gonna this person is really going to help you with that so you're going to be in that empress energy you're going to be able to receive what this person wants to give you. What else for part two for the next three months? What else? Well, we've got ton of cups. So, yeah, this is going to lead to that beautiful loving relationship here. Which, you, you know, is a true divine connection. So let's get your final messages. So we've got change. A change of residence, a partner, career or job is on the cards. You're restless and in need of a change. And that is exactly what's coming your way. So we can see that here. There is a lot of change coming in for you. And sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. So it's really, really positive part two. Really beautiful, positive changes coming in. So if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Hello, part three. You chose this beautiful blue and white crystal. So let's look at your predictions for the next few months, October, November, December. So we've got work, number 34, I think that is. So there could be some changes in your work. So let's have a look at the message. Patience is needed regarding any current setbacks. You've had hard work to do, but you will achieve something shortly you never thought was possible. Avoid extravagance as there will be de debts to be paid and you need to get on top of things. Don't hold on to disappointments or feelings of resentment, as there is no time for this in the successful period that can be yours if you play your cards right. So beautiful positive energies coming in around your work. So this could be a job or this could even be, you know, your own self-employment or entrepreneurship. You know, there's more positive things. So maybe you've had to work hard and you've not got anything to show for it. You know, you've not had the financial reward, but it's coming towards you. OK. Yeah, we've got pregnancy here. So this could be for you if you're a feminine um, or there's, you're going to hear about somebody's pregnancy. So this could be in your friend, friend group or in your family. 
and new build home so there could be a new home for you coming up so this could be a brand new home this is new build this could be a brand new home um that no one else has lived in and maybe you've wanted that for yourself you wanted something fresh something new or maybe even you've you know been building your own home a lot of people well in the uk a lot of people do what we call self builds where they design their own home so maybe that's you maybe you're going to be able to do that we've got welfare you're working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning so yeah we can see that you know your work is going to start paying off we we can see that and it's going to bring in prosperity and maybe you're going to be able to invest or you know in to increase your money um and you're also investing in yourself and your own career plans and long-term plans and this is going to bring in this wealth for you and we've got direction your purpose is unfolding slowly step by step as you go along there's no need to worry hurry or worry you're being divinely guided so yeah this is divinely guided um so just trust in the process and just trust in your intuition follow the guidance follow the signs that you're getting um there's no rush you don't need to worry um it's happening divine timing and i know we get a bit fed up with that keep coming out but you are being guided in into the new direction here um so just trust and have faith in the process yeah we've got loss reverse so i took it as reverse because i don't always take these cards as reverse because i feel maybe you've been dealing with loss um in your family um, this could be loss of money, um, maybe a major loss in money. Um, but it, whatever it is, it's the tables are turning. So you're coming out of that. OK, so whether it's to do with somebody you've lost, family member, friend, loved one. Um, I'm not saying you're getting over it, but you're in that energy of acceptance. You're you're at peace with it. And so you're feeling better generally. And if it's a financial loss, again, you, you're in that energy of acceptance and you're not letting it hold you back and you're going to keep moving forward and you are going to achieve that success and you're coming out of that maybe sad, um, depressive time maybe that you've been dealing with. You're going to you're going to be coming out. You can see the sun is starting to peak out there. So the sun is starting to shine in your life. You're starting to feel more uplifted in your life. And there's great achievement coming in. Wow. So you can see there's a table set here for like a celebration. Um, so this could be um, a dinner celebrating some achievements. I'm also getting wedding vibes here as well. Um, it could also be to do with celebrating the birth. We've got pregnancy here. So some sort of gathering to, to celebrate a great achievement. So it could be different for all of you. So this could be in business, this could be in love, you know, a wedding. This could be the celebration of a birth. Um, this could be celebrating a new home. You know, a lot of people have um, housewarming parties, get-togethers. So there's some sort of achievement that you've wanted and you're, you're going to be achieving it. And there's going to be some sort of celebration around that. Yeah, we've got prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. Wow. So yeah, you know we can see you're you're gonna come in. You're coming into wealth. You're coming into more abundance and prosperity, and you're going to be managing it with love. Maybe you're in fear energy. You're in lack energy, and you're coming out of that energy. You know you're going to be more in that gratitude energy. Uh, grateful for where you're at grateful for what you have and the more we can do this the more we can attract that in and i feel that's the shift here is what you're doing and we've got delight count your blessings and enjoy life take pleasure in simple things always expect the best so again i feel you're changing your mindset this is that flower isn't it is it the dandelion where you blow and all the seeds get dispersed and you make a wish and you know it's time to make a wish count your blessings like i said be grateful uh, for where you're at what you have and take pleasure in the simple things in life 
Some of the best moments in life are enjoying those simple pleasures, aren't they? With friends or family we love and just hanging out with them, just having a good talk and a hug or whatever. And, you know, expect the best for yourself because you deserve that. So now we're going to get some love messages. So you could meet somebody online. If you're single, this is for you. Um, yeah, you could meet online or, or through social media. If you've got a social media presence, there could be somebody you meet that way. They could reach out to you. And you could be going out for a meal. You could, uh, um, I said I meant to say drink, but I said meal. And we've got celebration again, and there's a celebration. So this person could celebrate your success with you. Um, but I feel you're going out for a drink and a meal. Could be your first date with this person. And this is soulmate love. So you're going to meet a soulmate here. And yeah, we've got like, you know, this is so funny. The, this card has come out because we had that meal, the table set. So this could be a, a family gathering, um, you know, meeting friends and family. There could be that celebration dinner where you get to meet each other's friends and families. Um, or it is a celebration of your love and maybe you're joining, you know, marriage um, or this pregnancy. You know, if you get with this person, there could be an unexpected pregnancy and things move quickly. I mean, that won't resonate for everybody. Um, yeah, you could you could start off as friends here. So this could even be somebody in your friends group or follows you, is a friend, has friended you on social media because I said social media. So this could be somebody that's friended you or you friended them. You're in the friend zone. It could start off as in a friendship. Or you could meet at work. You could be work colleagues for some of you. And the timing is February. So again, it's not that far away the way the time is going. And November. So again, not that far away. So it depends where you're at on your journey, um, what work you've done on yourself, um, where you're at on that journey, in, you know, self-love. <clears throat> so let's look <clears throat> what other messages for the next few months, October, November, December, for pile three, what other messages? What are the messages for part three for the next few months? What are the messages? Yeah, we've got the nine of wands. So I feel you never gave up. You know, we had that loss energy there. So you kept moving forward um, despite obstacles, despite difficulties, despite maybe depression. And you never gave up hope. You kept moving forward. And we've got Knight of Cups energy. So this person you're meeting could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's somebody who's romantic, they're fun, and they have love to offer. And this is divine justice coming in. So this is destiny, I feel. A destined meeting for you. Well, we have the sun. So there's happiness coming towards you. There's happiness, there's joy, there's lightness. You know, coming out, like I said in that card, you know, the sun is coming out and you've been through a difficult time. Yeah, we've got the world. So there's a whole new chapter starting in your life, a whole new beginning. You're going to leave the past behind. Yeah, we've got page of cards. So there could be a message coming towards you very soon. And we've got emperor energy. So this is your divine partner. This is a masculine energy. This is somebody that takes action. They go after what they want and they see you as the Queen of Wands. So somebody very passionate, very sexy, very driven. And yeah, they're really passionate about you. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of communication here with the Eight of Wands. Anything else? Yeah, we've got the lovers. So it's confirming that soulmate energy. So this is your soulmate. So beautiful. So let's look at your final messages. We've got communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. So again, for some of you, it could be a friend, as I said, could turn into a lover. Or this is somebody returning. Maybe you're in separation from somebody. And there's a reunion. This person's done work on themselves to get into that emperor energy um so somebody matured 
and surprise. A disappointment would be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. So yeah, sometimes we're not meant to know everything. So there's going to be some unexpected surprise um, after a disappointment. And, you know, for some of you, it's going to bring in love. So beautiful messages. If you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye for now.